Hey guys, how are you today? All right. So if you're seeing this video, then the journal flip video has already aired where I show all of my journals documenting or recording my year, which I really kind of started doing in 2014. I sort of combined art journaling, smash booking, scrapbooking, uh, junk journaling, maybe? <laughs> all into one thing. I don't know what to call it. I still don't know what to call it. I started with using a small delusions journal. This is 2015. It was just easy to grab. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, and if you want to see all of them, you need to look um, at the flip video. But um, I used the small delusions journal. I still like using them, but the problem with doing this kind of thing in them and doing a lot of gluing and, and pasting and, and tip-ins is they end up by the end of the year they look like this. <laughs> so then for 2016, I took a cue from the people over at Documented Life, and if you don't know who they are, go, oh my gosh, go look them up. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below. Lots of great ideas for recording your year and your life and that sort of thing. And this year they use binders, not this binder, a different one. But I had these, and I thought, hmm, that's an idea. Let me try that. So I tried this for 20. 16 and there are things like the delusions journal I love and don't love about it I have the same problem with these I had with that and then it gets too fat um, and because I like to take these traveling with me and I take them with me everywhere I don't just work on them only when I'm at home taking them when they start to get really full with me in my carry-on I always carry them on I never check my journals um, is a problem um, I do like in that these binders are only two or three months per binder, so by the time they start to get really fat and chunky like this one is, um, that's time to start just start a new one. And that aspect I really liked about it. So it gave me an idea for this year, which we're going to work on setting up. All right. So for Christmas, this last Christmas, my husband got me this, which actually came with another smaller journal. And hang on a second, I'm going to go get it. Okay, itsy bitsy teeny weeny. And then this is like a traveler's notebook size. And it came with this small like personal one. And then it came with um, this pen holder, which I probably will never use, I'm not sure. Now these are leather. If you're against using leather, by all means, use one made out of fabric. There's a tutorial here on my channel under Sewing 101 for making a traveler's notebook cover out of fabric. Um, a really cute one. You could do definitely do that. Um, Michaels makes a traveler's notebook cover out of like a vinyl material. So use what you have. But I think that I'm going to do this. I like this size. It's small enough to easily fit in my bag. By the time it starts to get full and chunky, I'll be taking the inserts out and putting new ones in and just using the cover all year. And then at the end of the year, I'll have a bunch of little booklets to put into a box or a storage thing. And I kind of have an idea for that. So it comes with a bunch of notebooks, which we're going to remove. We're going to use this one. It comes with a pen holder. This little key was in there. I think it came with it. I don't know why. It's some kind of charm. Um, little, you know, brochure. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. And it all comes in this nice canvas bag. Um, if you're interested in getting these, I'll put the Amazon link if I can find it um, in the description below. And there's something else in here. Oh, there's spare elastic cord so I guess if you don't like the orange cord that's in here you can change it out to this black one I don't mind the orange cord actually at all so I'm gonna leave it all right and we're gonna take these out it has one with lines and I don't have any problem with these you could use these actually I might leave one of them in I'm gonna take this middle one out and I think I'm going to it has the extra rubber band so you can get um, three notebooks in here. I'm going to, um, I might use this, this plain, this is like a craft paper one. I might use this one in here. It would be nice to have the extra paper if I want to like make notes or do some journaling or maybe some doodles or something. I don't know, maybe, we'll see. If not, I can use these for something. I have an, a different one of these that I use for a messy sketch, if you've seen my messy sketch videos. All right, so we're not going to go too far with the cover 
or with this extra band. We're going to just set it aside. And now we're going to make our inserts out of craft um, cardstock or manila folders, something thick. I did find out through this process I really like working on manila folder paper or cardstock, something thicker. I don't generally watercolor in this. Like I said, it's more scrap booky, smash booky kind of a thing with a little bit of doodling and acrylic paint thrown in. Um, but all of those things hold up really well. Um, to cardstock. You can do all those on cardstock. If I was watery color, water coloring in it, then I would need different kind of paper, but we're not. So um, this is one folder plus a half. And I think this is going to work just fine. And I think that we're going to just sew down one side and then we have it where it opens. I'll unclip it. So what we'll have in there is a notebook that will flip like this. And I think I'm going to put my calendar here. I do. I did find out this year I like having a calendar in there and being able to document certain important days that happen in that month for that year. So I think that'll go here. Then we'll have this and this. And then I, I can. I have the. I left the tab on even though it sticks out of the cover, so I can put the month on there. And I'm going to leave it so this is. This will be able to be pulled out like that, and I can work on the other side. And on this one, of course, we can work on that side. So uh, we're going to sew this together, but first I'm going to show you how I created this exactly. Let's make a couple more. So the first thing you have to do is cut your file folders to size um, for the height, which is eight and a quarter inches. There we go cut this part off and I'm going to do um, one more and it could be any you know manila envelopes whatever you have use what you have I happen to have a variety in the art room here craft paper ones regular traditional ones I think I've got blue ones and green ones somewhere use what you have so I'm going to do two more so I've got both of these and then I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to cut it in half. Let's see. Yeah. Honestly, I actually had a, a leftover piece and I used that in the other one. And <laughs> we're not going to have that here, so that's fine. Um, let's see. In a quarter. Okay. And then eight and a quarter. Okay. I'll put all that aside because we're done cutting. <laughs> all right, so now we need the scoreboard. And it really is better with a scoreboard. You don't have to have one, of course, but it's easier with a scoreboard. Um, now for this one, I want this one to have the tab at the bottom. This one is already at the top, so I'm going to fold it this way. And I'm going to start kind of backwards, so I'm going to line this up at the four and a quarter mark. Am I going to do it that way? No, I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to lift up the tab and line up this edge with a straight edge and then at the four and a quarter mark here I'm going to score just to make it easier to fold and then align the fold up with the straight edge and score it again and fold and keep doing that all the way across We're going to have a little piece here we're going to need to trim off. So we're going to take this one and we're going to do four and a quarter fold, four and a quarter, and then fold this in. This is the where the calendar will go. 
which will go in here. But we're going to have an extra piece of tab here that's got to be cut off. So. Carefully line the fold up with a four and a quarter mark, and then just trim that off. Now, of course, you could trim all of these even, and you could use some fancy tabs. Why couldn't you? I like that. All right, so let's do the other one. Lift the tab up so you can get that straight edge up against the straight edge of the file folder up against the straight edge of the scoreboard. And fold. And fold. You hear all my devices dinging? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> all right. And fold one more time. Okay. And then on this one, again, we're going to do four and a quarter fold, four and a quarter fold. Okay, put this away. Get our paper trimmer out one more time. Let's line our fold here, our last fold up with the four and a quarter mark approximately. Trim all that excess off. All right, so we have that one, that one, and then this one. figure out where I want to have this one. Let's see. Just want to have it be so your tabs aren't exactly right on top of each other so that you can just at a glance see which month is which. That'll work. So that'll work. All right. So now we need to get out the sewing machine. So I'm going to get out the little my little um, Janome inexpensive one I use for paper, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got the little Janome out, and I'm going to first test my stitches on a piece of the scrap paper. I'm going to fold it in half so I have double layers. And I'm just going to see if the um, tension is good and if it's... Um, not bunching up at the bottom. I do want to make sure I have the longest straight stitch length. That's a good thing I checked because I'm on zigzag. And I want D. Yep, D. Let's try that, shall we? So this is an inexpensive machine. You want to go slow. You are puncturing holes in the paper, which does in a sense create a weak point. So you want to have the longest stitch length possible, which is why I switched it to D. And that looks good. So let's get these sewn. I have turquoise thread in here, but I like turquoise, so I'm good with that. So I'm going to make sure that I have my insert pushed up into the fold, its fold pushed up into the fold of the uh, other outer piece, and that those, that fold, those two folds are what I'm stitching on that line, that I'm stitching right on top of that line. I'm going to hold my thread so I don't get a bunchy knot. There we go.
Okay. Now, of course, you could hand stitch this. You don't have to do it on a machine. But there, that looks good. All right, let's do the other ones. Okay, so now we have our three little booklets, which will be for three months in our 2017 journal, where we're going to record our year. And this is how they'll fit in here. So we're going to take the outside two of them, I'll take the middle one and set it aside. I'm going to take the outside two and we're going to hook them together with this extra rubber band. down that center line where we did our sewing. Then we're going to take all of one journal and put it under this other rubber band in the cover and line it up where those two journals meet. There we go. And then the third one goes underneath this extra rubber band. And by the time you start gluing and pasting everything in here, it's going to really all lay in here really nicely. The, like I said, the tabs do stick out a bit, but I'm actually okay with that. I do think I want to round off the corner on this one. So whatever corner rounder you have, I have a big corner chomper, so I'm going to use that. Yeah, I like that better. And I'm okay, like I said, I'm okay with the um, edges sticking out. That doesn't really bother me. Yeah. And I'll be able to close it. Or do the tabs bother me? After all that, maybe the tabs do bother me. Hmm. I have this impulse to cut all the tabs off. I know, right? After I did all that, to leave them on there. I am going to line it up at four and a quarter. as best I can. I'm going to try to do this without taking it out again of the cover. I like that better. Yep, I do. That fits nicely in the cover. I can still mark the um, edge, front edge of each one with um, a little tab that f sits flush that has the month on it, and I like that. Um, and of course, when I put them in their storage, they're going to be put in order. But I think this is a lot nicer to carry around than the big binder or the small delusions journal. And when it starts to get fat and full, I'll just take that month out when the month is completed. And so it won't be so bulky and cumbersome to carry around with me when I'm on vacation or out of town or something. I think this is better. 
All right, so I hope that gave you some ideas. We'll be back on the next um, episode of um, Recording My Year, for lack of a better name. If you guys think of a better name, let me know. Um, and we will be setting this up and putting our um, calendars in it and um, that sort of thing. And I will see you in the next episode. So I hope you choose to join me. And uh, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye.